Hey, dirt detectives, ready for another investigation? Today, we're going to look at rocks. One particular kind of rock, sand. Now, when you hear the word sand, do you think of a beach or maybe a sandbox? Well, it might surprise you to learn that sand isn't all the same. Do you see those little containers? They contain samples of sand that came from all around Minnesota. Minnesota sand can be white or tan. Some is reddish, some is very dark, almost black. If you shine a black light on some kinds of sand, they'll even glow. Today, we're gonna learn more about sand by reading a great book that's called Sand. It was written by Ellen Prager, and it's illustrated by Nancy Woodman. Beaches are made of sand. Desert dunes are made of sand. Sand can be home to crabs and clams or seagulls and stingrays. People like to walk on sand, lie on sand, and build big sand castles. What is sand? Where does sand come from? And how does sand get to the ocean's edge on a beach or piled high into a tall sand dune? Let the sand sleuth show you the way. We use the word sand to describe the size of a grain. Sand is made up of grains smaller than gravel, but bigger than mud in size. Sand grains often come from rocks that have been broken down into smaller and smaller pieces over a very long period of time. Sand can also be made of small pieces of crystal, shell, lava, or coral. Sand can be many colors, white, red, green, tan, or black. Some sand even looks like the black and white of a Dalmatian's spotted coat. The color of sand comes from the color of its grains. Sand made from coral and shells forms the whitest of white beaches. Waves crashing onto a coral reef bring bits and chunks of coral and shells to the beach and over time, create sparkling white beaches along tropical shores. Sometimes sand is made of crystals. Crystals are made of minerals and minerals come from rocks. Crystals of different minerals form sands of different colors. Green sand is commonly made of small crystals of the mineral olivine. Crystals of the mineral garnet can make sand look red. One of the most common minerals found on land is quartz. Quartz crystals can be many colors, pink, gray, brown, white, or clear, and usually make sand look tan or off-white. Many sands are made up of a mixture of green types, including rock fragments, mineral crystals, and shell or coral pieces. This spotted sand is made up of white coral pieces and black rock fragments. This colorful sand is a mix of red rock fragments and green crystals. Quartz crystals and rock fragments make this sand look gray. When a volcano erupts, hot molten rock called lava can flow down to the sea. Where hot lava and cool ocean meet, Towers of steam rise high into the sky. Cool water turns the fiery red lava into hard black rock. Very quick cooling can cause the rock to shatter into small, shiny black pieces. Instant black sand. Now you know what sand looks like up close and what it is commonly made of. But how does sand get onto a beach or built into a tall sand dune. There are several different ways that sand can be moved from one place to another. Water, wind, or ice. 
Rivers can carry rocks from high in the mountains to far away seashores. As rocks are washed down toward the sea, they bump against each other, breaking down into smaller and smaller pieces, creating sand. Ocean waves and currents can move sand from one beach to another or carry sand from the floor of the sea onto the beach. During a storm, big waves can move sand or gravel onto a beach or take it away. Sand grains on beaches that are pounded by big waves become round and shiny by bumping and rubbing against each other in the water. Wind can pick up sand grains and create small ripples, like tiny waves on water, or build sand dunes as tall as buildings. Sand grains that have been blown by the wind tend to have pointy sides and look frosted. Ice can trap sand in its chilly grip and carry it to the sea. When the ice melts, the sand falls onto the land or into the water. Sand, sand, sand. It comes in many colors, but only a few sizes. Remember, sand is just a grain size, bigger than mud, but smaller than gravel. If you look close, you might see pieces of coral, shells, or crystals in the sand. Flowing water, blowing wind, or moving ice can break big rocks into small pieces and bring them to a beach where water can build tall dunes. Next time you walk on a sandy beach, climb a high sand dune or get ready to build a big sand castle. Bend down and scoop up a handful of sand. What is it made of? How did it get there? Look for clues hidden in the grains to answer your questions. The end. Well, thank you for joining us today for this particular lesson about sand which is part of a lot of different kinds of dirt. So join us for other distance learning lessons from here at Dodge Nature Center. Bye.